Batman, Arkham Asylum Prelude, Gotham City, early March 2019. The last election ended in a tie, and the secondary elections were already coming in one week. The election that would see if Quincy Sharp or Hamilton Hill would win the mayor's seat. These were very tense times. Well, today was a very tense time in Gotham City, for Commissioner Gordon had his hands tied. There was a massive fire in the afternoon in Blackgate Prison that now was put out thanks in part by the combination of the brave firefighters and the spring rain that had been falling since this morning, non-stop. But now Commissioner Gordon had a quandary in his hands. The prison was saved, but a lot of the prisoners that were housed in the burnt-out sections of the jail needed to be relocated, and there was only one place you could think of that had some capacity to hold these prisoners temporarily. It was Arkham Asylum. Gordon did not like the idea one bit, but it was the only place that could hold them until that section of the jail was rebuilt. Gordon pulls out his phone and makes a call to Quincy Sharp. He says to Warden Sharp, Warden Sharp, I need help. A good chunk of the prison was burnt down, but the number of prisoners that were detained there was small, he says to Sharp. Then he goes on to explain to Sharp further. The number was 30. I know Arkham Asylum has the capacity to hold 30 additional people temporarily, he says to the warden. Can you please do me this favor, he asks to the warden. Warden Sharp says over the phone, Sure, Commissioner, just give me two hours to get the asylum ready for the addition. Gordon says over the phone, Thank you, Warden Sharp. I'll be over there shortly, he says, and he hangs up. Then he calls Brene Montoya over to him, and he says to her, Montoya, I've talked to Warden Sharp over in Arkham Asylum. He's getting the asylum ready to accommodate the temporary guests. I'm going to head over there right now and get everybody ready. As soon as the asylum is ready, I will call you to get these men ferried over. Montoya says, yes, sir. And then she says to the commissioner, oh, wait, commissioner, before you leave, they found the cause of the fire, she says. It was electrical. The commissioner gives a slight nod of the head of acknowledgement, and he gets on the ferry, and the ferry ferries him across the channel to the dock. As soon as he arrived to the Blackgate dock, the whole press that was waiting there quickly rushes him as cameras were flashing in his face and everybody holding microphones were asking him all the standard questions. While several officers that were standing guard at the dock were keeping the press at bay so they don't trample the commissioner. Then the commissioner gives a brief statement of the situation and he says, as of now, the fire has been put out, and everything is back to normal in the prison. As for the displaced inmates in that section, they will be moved and temporarily housed at Arkham Asylum. That's all I'm going to say right now. And then he walks over to his squad car as he folds his umbrella and gets inside the squad car as the reporters kept on asking him every question they could think of. And then he starts the car and drives off into the rainy dusk. An hour and 15 minutes later, it was 6 p.m., and there was more trouble brewing. At City Hall, the police were surrounding it, and the SWAT team had just arrived. And the man that was handling the situation was veteran police detective Harvey Bullock. The situation? The Joker had entered City Hall while it was closing and took the mayor and the city council hostage. But he made no demands yet of what he wanted. Well, Bullock was outside assessing the situation. Some officer comes up to Bullock and he says, Detective, we just got word from Montoya that the... Blackgate fire has been put out and the prisoners in that section are going to Arkham Asylum. The commissioner is over there right now with the warden. Bullock says okay and then he says to the officer send word to the commissioner that there's a hostage situation 
with the Joker at City Hall. He's got the mayor and the city council hostage. The young officer says, yes sir, and walks off quickly. Bullock looks at the City Hall building, and he says to himself, man, the old commission's gonna shit a brick when he finds out. Then another officer comes up to Bullock, and he says, Detective, we can't get the security team on the phone or on the radio. Bullock then says to the young officer, knowing Joker, he's probably killed them all. Then he says to the officer, all right, just be on the ready in case the Joker tries to contact us. The officer says, yes, sir, Detective, and walks off quickly. Then he decides to go over and talk to Johansson, the head of SWAT, who was there with his team getting everything prepared. Meanwhile, in the city hall, Mayor Hamilton Hill and the rest of the city council were in the lounge tied to chairs. One of the council members, Councilman Gonzalez, says, You know, Joker, you're not going to get away with this, you bastard. Oh, you're going to be sorry when the SWAT team comes in here. Then the Joker turns around to look at Gonzalez, and then he gives a swift kick to Gonzalez, knocking him back onto the ground, and he says to the councilman, Temper, temper, temper! Didn't you mother ever teach you manners, you loudmouth schnook? <laughs> After witnessing that, Mayor Hill says to the Joker, You know, Joker, I hope the SWAT team carves you up with their machine guns. Then the Joker takes his knife out and points it to Hill's face and he says to the mayor, You know, mayor, you're not in the position to be making threats right now. And if you do one more outburst like that, I'm going to carve a smile on your face. <laughs> then one of the Joker's men comes into the lounge and he says, Hey, boss, all the guards are dead. What do you want us to do now? The Joker replies back to him, Okay, just the standard. Put three guys in the lobby, three guys in the midsection, and the rest of the guys on the roof, just in case he shows up tonight. The goon says, okay, boss, and leaves the lounge. Meanwhile, outside, on the rooftop of a building across the street from City Hall, Batman was out there on the roof on the rain, staking out the roof of City Hall and then he sees the Joker's men come out he was counting them as they were coming out it was six he could handle six plus they're all spreading out then Oracle chimes in and says to him Batman I've successfully hacked into the City Hall security system the Joker doesn't have that much guys there there's three guys out in the lobby there's three guys out in the eighth floor hallway by the employees lounge and I don't know where the rest went to Batman then says to Oracle the rest just came outside onto the roof they're all armed with assault rifles what about the ones inside Oracle says the ones inside are also armed with assault rifles and she also says I also found the Joker and the mayor and the city council the Joker has them all tied up in the employees lounge Batman says to Oracle Okay, then I'm going in. So Batman runs and does a mighty leap across the chasm of buildings. Then he gets on the roof of City Hall. And then he covertly takes out all the guards on the roof. Then he goes into the building through the roof axis. He goes all the way down to the lobby. As soon as he enters the lobby, he uses detective mode and he sees where the three goons were spread out so Batman goes and he slowly takes them out one by one after he was done he had to figure out a way to get the rest from the eighth floor down here and then he figured it out he runs over to the fire alarm and then he pulls the switch <coughs> meanwhile upstairs in the eighth floor they heard the alarm also and they heard a voice saying, Attention, attention, code red activated at the main lobby. Attention, attention, code red activated at the main lobby. The Joker hears that, and then he steps out the lounge and he tells his remaining goons, Well, you idiots, don't stand there. Go down there and get him. He's probably taking out the others. Soon, Joker's remaining men go downstairs to take on Batman, while the Joker uses that opportunity 
to escape, and he tells the mayor, Well, Hammy, looks like it's time for me to go. I hate to leave a captive audience, but I can't afford to get caught by the Batman. See you soon, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> and the Joker runs off. Well, the rest of the Joker's men make it to the lobby. They spread out. But Batman took him down right away, and then he gets the elevator to the 8th floor. He runs into the employee lounge, and he finds the mayor and the city council tied up. He runs over to them, takes out a blade, and cuts them free, and then he asks the mayor, Are you okay, Mr. Mayor? The mayor says, Yes, I am. Please, get that maniac. I don't know where he ran to. Then Oracle chimes in, Batman, listen to me. I caught the Joker on camera. He made his way to the stairwell. He can't escape through the ground level. The police are down there. There's only one place he can escape, the roof. Then Batman says to the Oracle, I got you, Oracle. I'm on my way. Meanwhile, on the roof of the city hall, as the rain was pouring, the Joker was inflating a hot air balloon he had hidden up on the roof. After he was done, the hot air balloon was fully inflated. It resembled his head. Then Joker climbs aboard and tries to make his getaway. Then Batman makes it to the roof. He runs over to the Joker's hot air balloon. He pulls out his grapple gun and fires at it. And then Batman pulls the balloon and ties the rope around the pipe of a rooftop AC unit. Thanks to the aid of his strength augmentation, his bat suit. The Joker jumps out and tries to run, but Batman quickly runs after him, tackles him, and beats the crap out of him. Then the Joker shouts, Okay, 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 Ali Oxen free. I give up. I throw in the towel. Don't beat me, man. Don't beat me anymore, man. Then Batman says to the Joker, I'm taking you back to Arkham myself. And then he gets on the communicator and he says to Oracle, Oracle, tell Detective Bullock that I captured the Joker and I'm taking him back to Arkham Asylum myself. Oracle says, Roger that, Batman. Then Batman pulls out the Batmobile remote and he says to the Batmobile, Come. Soon the Batmobile starts up on autopilot and drives over to the city hall location and as soon as it pulls up nearby batman activates through the remote the emp function to jam the camera phones and cameras of the press or any people that are around looking that way they can photograph the batmobile or batman finally batman makes his way down and then the joker comments oh boy it's finally stopped raining now we're going to have a nice dry ride back to the asylum, eh, Batsy? <laughs> and Batman responds back to the Joker. Shut up. So Batman made his way back down to the first floor and exited City Hall, dragging the Joker. And he takes the Joker over to the parked Batmobile as the canopy opens up. Then Bullock comes up to Batman after Batman threw the Joker into the passenger seat. And he says to Batman... So, Freak, you're going to take him to the asylum yourself. Good, you're saving us the trouble. We have enough problems going on tonight. Then Bullock feels the raindrops, and he looks to the sky, and he says to Batman, Oh boy, it's starting to rain again. And then Batman says to Bullock, Tell the commissioner I'm taking Joker myself to Arkham. Then Bullock replies back to Batman, No need. He's there right now himself, overseeing the temporary transfer of the Blackgate inmates that were housed in the section that got burned down. Batman doesn't say nothing to Bullock and closes the canopy of the Batmobile. Then Batman starts up the Batmobile as the powerful supercharged V6 starts up. Batman puts it in gear and speeds off. Shortly after they left City Hall, it began to pour down rain again. Now the Batman was on his way to Arkham Asylum 
taken in the Joker. Like and subscribe, the end.